Good morning, everybody. Mystic Ruler, Ruler uh, Bruce here from the uh, garage. Mystic Builder. I used to be the Mystic Ruler when I was teaching at Matthews, but I changed it to the Mystic Modeler now. So, uh, good morning. I just want uh, a quick tidbit, update, tip on these. Um, I've uh, built the mast, as you can see. Maybe you can't. Let me uh, just tip it a little bit. There we go. You can see I built the masts, and they are dead on straight. Just straight as an arrow. Now, these are hollow on the inside. As those of you guys that have built these kinds of ships, or have kits where you have two things you got to put together, and then, you know, I got things that are going to be tied onto this. And they were really flimsy, even when the two pieces are together. So, let me show you what I'm talking about here, if you can see it in here. The two pieces go together, and there's a hollow inside. So what I did is I had some of these metal rods left over from when I was doing balsa airplanes and making landing gear out of this and struts for biplanes. And I have a bunch of this left over. So I cut it and made sure there was if there's openings where parts needed to go to. And this is all reinforced all the way up as far as this would go. And then I would take, if I couldn't fit that anymore with the closing, I'd take, these are the um, eyelets, what's left of them. I've chopped heads off of these and I kept the metal rods. And I used these in the back one because I, it was thinner. So I just stacked them and glued them all the way up in here. And I'll tell you, it is just, you can't bend it, which may, which will make a, a lot easier for rigging when you're pulling and doing things. So I just wanted to share that with you. If you, if you ever run into that situation, fill the centers with some metal rods. These are real cheap. They're just, uh, get them at uh, Menards or Home Depot or, you know, uh, or even a hobby store has them where they have all the balsa wood and everything. And uh, these smaller ones I get from the eyelets that I put in here. And uh, I don't put the whole thing in. I chop it off and I save them for this purpose and for reinforcing things. So that was a tip I just wanted to uh, bring out to everybody. And um, that's about it. She's coming along. Like, like I said, I got the masts done yesterday. I'm going to paint these today, sand them down, paint them. I'm going to paint them. I don't know what color yet. It's going to be some sort of brown, pale brown or something. Something to match with white tips on the yard arms. And then um, once we get all that done, I got to rig up the yard arms and a um, bunch of pulleys. I got extra pulleys too. So uh, it's, she's coming along really nice. So that's all I wanted to say. Uh, Frankie, I'd like to see the gourd fork out like to see yours. I hope you like mine. I'm really taking my time with her. And she's uh, she's coming along really nice. So, uh, again, thanks, Vince. Thanks for the Gesundheit, too, Vince. Sorry about that sneezing. Um, Chris, thank you again for your help. Um, I hope to see you back at the bench soon after you remodel your bathroom. And uh, Vince, you too. Max? You have a great day. Um, I was watching all your videos this morning and everything, and that was cool. Uh, I'd still like to see a ship build, group uh, group build, um, come out, and uh, we'll see what happens. All right, uh, this is Bruce, the Mystic Modeler from the Garage, signing off. Johnny, Jerry, Maddie, all the grandkids, all the kids, love you all. And uh, everybody, be safe out there, okay? And have a great day. It's going to be beautiful here the next couple of days. Humidity's up, so I closed all the windows, turned the air on, and we're ready to go. All righty. Until the next time, again, Bruce from the garage, the Mystic Modeler. Have a great day. Go Sox.